is the uh, DRV version of the MyFocuser Pro 2E. So DRV chip, Wi-Fi chip, um, regulator from 12 volts to uh, 3, 5 volts, and then down to, uh, sorry, 8 volts, and then to the VIN, which drops it to 3.3 for the board. These jumpers here, uh, MS1, MS2, MS3, are actually how to configure the uh, stepping mode for the DRV chip um, because there's just not enough pins to do it in software so it's done in hardware and it, you can only set it once. Here's a uh, OLED display of course which is running through. Um, a stepper diode board for pulse and for micro stepping etc. And NEMA 17 motor. Um, 12 volt power uh, on off switch and a temperature probe so let me just um, configure this right uh, so uh, what we want is this is to run this uh, controller uh, with static IP off and station mode. So I've defined station mode in the firmware and I've enabled static IP off. Now the thing is that when the controller starts up it will connect to an existing uh, Wi-Fi network and that Wi-Fi network will send it an, an IP address to use and I don't know what that's going to be. So there are a number of ways to actually find this out and I'll go through those um, just let's wait for that to uh, go through I'm using a tool here called advanced IP scanner um, and it's going to scan uh, network 192.168.2.1 all the way through to dot two five four um, now it didn't actually reprogram the controller so I've held down reset and pressed uh, uh sorry i've held down flash pressed reset then let go flash and let me try and recompile this again uh, make sure i'm on the right port which i am um, Normally doesn't like to reprogram if you've got 12 volt power connected. Um, so this may fail. Yeah, it's going to fail. So let me turn 12 volt power off. Um, and let me just hold down flash. And let me press reset. Let go reset. Let go flash. And try again. So I mean, once you've got this working and configured, you won't be mucking around like this, reprogramming it every five minutes. Um, and it is a bit of a pain. Sometimes it's best just to remove the uh, chip out of, out of the board altogether and just program it that way. Um, but once you've got it working, uh, you won't need to do this uh, unless there's an upgrade to the firmware. So... We're trying to upload again this time. Here we go. It's uploading. So this uh, is going to be in station mode, and it's going to be using an IP address which is generated by the actual uh, Wi-Fi access point, the network that I'm connecting to. So um, I'm not actually going to know what it is until the controller actually reboots. So. Right, the controller's rebooted, it's saying connected, um, scrolling through, a number of screens, uh, temperature compensation, backlash on that screen, next screen, uh, it's telling me it's 227. So let me just drop out of this and let me go scan, uh, because you might not have no LED. 
so uh, while that's running uh, let me go so that's going to be 227 so uh, IP scanner is going out there checking all the uh, IP, uh, the uh, devices connected to this network uh, 192.168.2 and it should come back and it should tell me there it is there ESP chip underscore number hex digits and it's an express if uh, incorporated so we know it's 227 so let me go here and let's connect to 227 and I'm connected to it straight away so I can tell it to go a number of steps oh that won't work because we haven't turned 12 volt power on so let me turn 12 volt power on which we've now got and let's tell it to go and you can see that the um, yep, stepper motor moved so no problem there um, temperature's not working because I haven't enabled it in the firmware so this is working now as a um, as a uh, uh, station mode um, with an allocated IP address from the existing Wi-Fi network and I managed to find that out in two ways from the OLED plus using IP scanner so let me just disconnect now right so in the firmware because I've got static IP on I'm now specifying an IP address uh, which it's going to request uh, to be allocated as 21 and this is the address that it's going to be uh, when it connects to the existing Wi-Fi network so let's see if we can't reprogram it. I'm going to have to turn 12 volt power off, of course. And let me just hold down flash. And press reset. Let reset go. Let flash go. And reprogram this to be um, static IP on. So the controller is going to use its own IP address of 192.168.2.21. So let me go over to the Huawei Focus Pro uh, controller, specified 21. So let's go back to the firmware here. She's a bit slow because uh, this laptop's 10 years old. Um, can't afford to replace the one that blew up. So here we go, we're going to reprogram it. Hopefully this is going to upload. Yep, good. So this final t test, because uh, I'm not going to do duck DNS at the moment, um, is with the controller in station mode and in station mode with its own IP address. And I'm using the DRV8825 as an example for doing this. So uploading is being done. So let me go back to the uh, Wi-Fi over here and I'm watching this it says uh, did not connect to AP so can we just try that again connected this time all right because I've got debugging turned on so this should say when it gets to the uh, Wi-Fi screen on the LCD it says dot 21 so let me go to 12 volt power and enable the 12 volt power otherwise the stepper won't move and I should be able to connect to this on 2.21 and I have as you can see and if I tell it to go a number of steps it'll move and back the other way and this is at full stepping by the way and again stepping's a little bit erratic because the ESP chip has to do a hell of a lot of work uh, making sure it doesn't reboot um, by checking all the Wi-Fi on a regular basis and this interrupts everything that we're yeah, doing. So there we go, uh, the focus is actually working fine. Um, I can get position. Um, I can set a position. I can um, get the IP address and so on and so on when I'm connected. So everything's working in station mode 
with um, an IP address allocated by the network itself, which is a static IP off, and with its own IP address specified static IP on, um, everything's working um, with the Wi-Fi controller.